Hey guys, I'm back here with another brand new video. The video that you have been waiting for that is part 2. As I have uploaded the previous video in which I have uh, said that I will upload a new video part 2. So here is the part 2 video and if you don't have watched the previous video, uh, so check out the previous video, video uh, link in the description. Otherwise you will not know the real purpose of watching this video. So go ahead and check uh, out uh, the previous video in the description. This video is for those who are still waiting for part 2 video. As you can see in the comments section, uh, everyone says that uh, where is part 2, blah blah blah. So they are still waiting and they are asking me to uh, upload part 2 video. I felt very sorry for them that uh, they did very good comments and appreciate my work. So this video is for those. And uh, so as I said in the previous video that I will open this dynamo so now i'm not gonna do that so i will just show you here everything here i will give you the hints so you can easily make your own so the everything so the everything the alternation is in this rotor nothing in this everything is here so i will show you what changes should you make to your own washing machine motor so i'm going to tell you that what is the alternation so as you can see this is the dynamo this is the capacitor and this is the bridge, bridge rectifier uh, connected to this uh, led uh, it's 12 volt uh, it's power on 12 volt so as you can see it's powering I have given it uh, more uh, means the it has a more power so there the LEDs are burned the three, four, three to four LEDs are burned because of uh, high speed of rotation this rotor so guys one thing I want to tell you that so it, it took me very long time to make this dynamo so everyone said it upload the part 2 video and show us uh, what is the alternation here was my teacher uh, one and a half uh, year ago that uh, he was my teacher and when I upload this video uh, part 1 so he uh, watched that video in YouTube and he refused me to upload the part 2 he said that don't upload part uh, uh, video and don't show to those guys so that took me very long time to make this and uh, now I have told uh, I have told him that uh, everyone comments like upload part 2 blah blah and everyone that who has appreciate my work and uh, uh, did a good comments on my video so that's why I have to say that uh, to my teacher that I will have to upload part 2 just uh, giving them a hint so then he agreed so this is the part two so, so my teacher said that uh, you took very long time how can you explain everything everything your whole time you spend on this by making this dynamo how can you explain this in four to five minutes and telling the other people on youtube everyone so guys by the way this is the video that i was talking about in the previous video and everyone comments in the comment section that you have you had promised that uh, i will upload part two so as a promise i have uploaded this video by showing you the hints and so this is the video so let's get started guys this is the dynamo for example you have the washing machine motor every every motor will work fine if it has two uh, starting coil and running coil it should have starting coil and running coil it is a single phase motor you should have a single phase motor and uh, there is nothing inside the motor everything will be remain same as it is so this is the changing in this rotor this is for example this is the rotor and it is same as inside this one so I am going to show you by marking them what is the changing so let's I will mark on this and you will see you will know the whole process 
so guys this is the important part that you need to do with this rotor I hope you will understand what the N and S mean we will have to put magnets in this in this rotor we will have to make a hole a half a half or a quarter inch hole and there are as if there are magnets easily available in the market that that are steel magnets and put make the mag holes with lathe machines or whatever i have with the so there there should make a hole inside this rotor and put a magnet the the south the south pole should facing you both of these and then the north both of so make as i have say, shown you that it should be alternately it should be different from the next one should be different from the previous one so for example as uh, south pole north pole south pole north pole means th these all should be different from each other so then it will and then put it inside the strator of the motor and fit it as well as it was and then move the rotor and as you can see it will work as it is working so this was the method that I have sure I have made this dynamo with so make holes in this uh, rotor and put magnets inside this so the south pole should facing you the land should do the south pole it should not be different the both of them should be same and here the north uh, pole should facing you here the south pole should facing you so and so on so this was the easy method easy nothing's in there but i have took long time for this by finding this and looking for that so this was the video part two i wanted to tell you so this is the method and you can make your own by following these steps uh, by following my this video this is part two as you can see there is nothing inside uh, in except magnets and it is working fine this will gives you alternate current so you can uh, convert the alternate current to DC current by using this uh, rectifier bridge rectifier and uh, and about the wiring the why there is nothing about the wiring the wiring should be remain same uh, so uh, the so the single phase motor should there will be a capacitor with uh, that wire the two wires and just uh, neglect the uh, capacitors and direct use these two wires directly coming from the motor just neglect the capacitors and then check the voltage from these props uh, the, the motor out coming props and you will get the voltage from that so guys this this is the part 2 video let's see the uh, so guys let's see the volt using voltmeter guys as you can see I have uh, connected the multimeter with the those wires that are coming from the dynamo so let's move this selector to AC volt and as I spin this motor as you can see 28 volt 36 30 22 29 43 41 so this is the alternate current by giving this just for, by rotating this one is uh, more rotor as you can see it's giving up to 40 volts so this is the method put magnets inside this make first make holes uh, in this rotor with lathe machines or whatever there so and then put magnets inside this rotor as I told you so this is the this was the free dynamo 
so as you can see it's in front of you and everything I have showed you so this was the part 2 guys go ahead and smash that like button and give this video over 1500 likes that would be so amazing and subscribe to my channel like th share this video with your friends see you in other video thanks for watching